Let's take a look at this equation. We got uh, 5x squared minus 20 equal to 0. Different ways you could do this one. The fact that we don't have the middle term here, there's not an x component, we could use the square root property. I could also factor this, but uh, let's go ahead and use square root property. I'm going to take the negative 20 and move it to the right side, it becomes a positive 20. And we need to get the part that's squared by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And that gives us x squared is equal to 4. Now square root property, if you got something squared equal to the other side, drop your squared and put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Now that uh, square root can simplify, 4 is 2 times 2. And remember the square root, we're looking for a pair of somethings. Here's a pair of 2's, so they're going to come out as a single 2. So we got x is equal to plus or minus 2. Now if I had factored it, the GCF, they both have a 5 in common. So I factor out a 5 and that gives me x squared minus 4. And then what's inside the parentheses, two terms minus it, difference two squares, would factor as x plus 2 times x minus 2. And then the zero factor property, you get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set x plus 2 equal to zero and x minus 2 equal to zero. You don't need to worry about the 5 because there's no x to solve for. And that gives us x equals negative 2 and x is equal to positive 2. So it doesn't really much matter which way you work it. Uh, the square root property would have worked uh, a lot better if this, this hadn't factored. Like if I had come up with x squared minus 7, for example. This would work any time you're missing that middle term.